Hello everyone. Welcome to the day four of our M query series. In this video, I'll show you how to connect to three different public OData feeds using Power BI and Power Query. And by the end, you will know how to pull the data from Web and Power BI without warning, without not warning, sorry, but without writing any codes. Before that, if you're new to our channel, DivK Learner, a bit forward daily. Please subscribe to our channel, like the video if you like what we are doing, and share it with the people whom it can help. So in this particular um, series, we are covering on Power Query basics, and we have already covered uh, topic one to five. We are today going to talk about connect to OData feed and Power BI, um, Power BI step by step guide. So let's go to that particular slide. Here we are talking about three different OData feeds, which I shared information yesterday. Two of them are Atom and one is JSON. And we are going to follow the same, same step. We need to go, go to the get data, select OData feed. But before that, we need to open up the Power BI desktop and then go, go to get data and select the OData feed, paste the URL of the selected OData source, preview table entities and select required ones. Click load to import into Power BI. Having done this, in the next coming videos, we'll be learning how we can clean transform this data using mQuery and build a usable data model. So let's very quickly uh, bring in the Power BI desktop. That's the Power BI desktop, and it is empty. If you have not uh, downloaded it, it uh, downloaded it from the net. It is free of cost. So the first thing is to get data so I can click on the stuff called get data because I want the O data. So I'll, I can scroll down to check O data or the better is to write down in the search window as O data. And once you write down, you get an option of O data feed. Once I'm there, I'll be connecting to the north wind uh, data feed that we have. This is free anonymous so i'm not getting that pop-up but you might get a pop-up in which you need to select anonymous there so once it shows me all the tables i can select what i require so for me i'll be working on the order as well as well as customer so i have two choices after selecting them i can just load them without doing any transformation but if i see the uh, the need for doing some transformation i need to click on transform data the moment i click on transform data it will be open opening a power bi query editor for me where i can see various tables i can see their type abc says that it is text so these are the different types that we can use um, if you go to the all of them are abc looking here most of them are abc this phone number is also abc because it's having alphanumeric numbers um, if you go to the order, you can see some of them are numeric, some of them are text, some of them are date time. So we have all the variety here. I, after doing a transform and loading, what you need to do is in order to do, come back to the page where you can do visualization and work on it, you need to click on close and apply. Um, you can just click on apply as well and you'll be landing on that particular you will have to minimize that page to come here but if you click on close and apply it will automatically bring it to you here with the two things there customer and order the next one is a different uh, let's just start with a different way this time we'll be working on the second kind of the uh, Yeah, sorry. So this time we'll be working on the second type of the database, which is Trippin. So uh, I don't get the get data this side now. I have get data here. So I'll click on the get data and click on O data feed. Once I have the O data feed, I'll have to go for the other um, data feed. And this time it is Trippin that we are using. So I'm going to select this copy it and paste it here in the URL and click on OK. 
So this way, I, it will again ask me whether I want to load the data or I can. I really want to transform the data after selection. I will just select people and airport and click on load, and it will load the data for me. So this time I did not go to the Power Query Editor. I'll show you a different ways of opening the Power Query Editor. I can do a right click here on any of the data set that we have created. And once I click on that, I can click on Edit Query and it will open up a screen for you. In this particular screen, uh, you will have to look for the option called new data source once i click on the new data source i have an o data feed and in the o data feed i can put in the new url for the data feed that i'm looking forward for this time i'm looking forward for the o data from o data dot srv i will click on ok and it will give me the options of the tables that we have so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select product and categories from here and i'll just click on ok so in this demo we also saw that we can get the data from various different uh, data feeds into one place i will click on close and apply and you will be able to see that we have six different tables coming from three different places having three different data types of sharing with us that is with in the format of atom, atom or json and once having done this, I can take you to the modeling and I can show you the relationship. Some of them have automatically got and created the relationships as well. In order to show you the pictorial representation of the relationship, I can click on this model view and you will see that there is certain relationship being already created for you. And there are other ones in which we don't have the relationship. So having said that, um, I show you that we can connect to different data feeds of type atom and JSON, uh, and JSON. So once again, um, what we have done is we have connected to different O data feeds. We have seen how we can filter the tables which we want, which we don't want. We can load the data. We can do the trans go to the transform data. So these are all the things that we have covered in this particular video. So once again, uh, what we are going to do in the next video would be that we'll be working on doing the transformation of the data that we have connected. So um, thanks for listening to me. Don't forget to join our free Sunday Q&A 12.30 p.m. IST time for Q&A. And also register for data modeling in Power BI webinar on 15th June, 10 a.m. Please, information would be shared in description. Thank you. Have a wonderful day ahead.